So I wanted to show you guys really quickly my stockpile. It is down in my basement, so please excuse any mess that you see. But this right here is a kitchen cart. It's supposed to be like a little island for your kitchen, but I got it at a thrift store for like 10 bucks. And I got it because if you can see, it has pegboard so I could hang up things that would normally be hung up in a store. And then on the rest of it, I just store normal health and beauty items like shampoo and conditioner and body wash and stuff like that. So it works out really well. And then right here is my little gift bin that I throw in things that I can get for free or really cheap just to have on hand for if I need a gift for a birthday or anything. So I keep that right here. And here are my shelves that I keep non-perishable food items, cleaning supplies, other overstock of feminine products, medicine, paper products and more cleaning supplies. And right there I have a plastic bag holder for if I'm not using reusable bags. When I bring the stuff home from the store, I can just throw them right in there. So it works out really nicely. And so overall, I just want to tell you guys the purpose of a stockpile is to stockpile items when you can get them free or really cheap so that you never have to pay full price for an item again. For example, this juice, I got it for about a dollar a bottle which is a really good price I didn't get it for free but I think that it was a worthy enough price to stockpile it so that is the purpose of stockpiling so you don't have to pay full price for anything anymore and that's really great for example all of this medicine up here that stuff is expensive and most of it I got free after either extra care bucks, register rewards, or Rite Aid single track rebates. So I will not have to go out if we have a cold or a headache and ever have to pay full price for something when we need it. And that is amazing to me and the reason why I started So my last part of stockpiling 101 would be my freezer. I really suggest getting a big freezer if you can. This whole thing is a freezer. And not only are you able to stock up on obvious freezer items, but it allows me to be able to buy things like bread and freeze it when I can get it really cheap or free. And then I don't have to worry about running out and getting bread at full price. Again, here's some of the items I have is the vegetables that I got really cheap. Um, I keep my meats in here. And I just use the bags that you can... Um, vacuum seal and so this is how I store items and if you see on here on these meats I put the date and how much I paid a pound so that I can keep track of the prices that I'm paying for these stockpiling items so again that's the last part of my stockpiling 101 is get the items as cheap as you can and and stockpile them not hoard them like some people think. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed the lesson.